So here's a quick tip for you. Hell yeah! <laughs> this is a very short video because uh, I quickly discovered once I started playing, you know, the nylon string acoustic and I was all into the Ali Miola, you know, John McLaughlin, Paco de Lucia kind of thing, right? I quickly discovered a, a cool thing that I'm using in Fusion now, um, but it comes from that, that Spanish uh, feel and it sounds like this. It's like when you play... When you play the harmonic minor, for instance, that's kind of, you know... All right, let me see if I can just get it over on the other amp here. Right? Then that's just a harmonic minor sound. But then every time I have a semitone, just that semitone connection in the scale, I can put a chromatic note behind that semitone, which is weird because let's say you have the notes in the seventh, the ninth, and the tenth fret on the G string. Those are the first three notes of the A harmonic minor, right? Then I have that semitone interval there. Uh, and then I can go. So I'm actually replacing the root note here in this case with that, that extra note there. So instead of playing the 7th, the ninth, and the 10th, I play the 8th, the ninth, and the 10th. I get that little... And you use it in relation to that note, which is just, you know, above it. Then you get that kind of... And you can do that everywhere. Also, when you have it, um, when when you have it like in the first, it's in another place on the neck here, you got the fourth, you got the fifth, and you got the seventh. I'm using uh, fourth tuning here, so my top two strings are um, a, a, a C and an F string instead of a B and an E string. Uh, so you just push the whole thing up if you're using standard tuning. But four, five, and seven, five, six, and eight if you're using standard tuning. And that's also the A minor scale. Or... So if I have this uh, structure of notes, I can go... Right? Do that every single time you have. You don't have to learn a new scale. You can just... So you can go... Right? Also Italian... Right? That note is alien. And it's basically, if you have a, a Dorian minor, those notes there, right there, or whatever minor, those notes are often the, the, the most out notes you can possibly imagine. Just crazy uh, dissonant. But when you use them in connection with that little... Then it sounds really nice. So you can use that in fusion as well. It's just a matter of phrasing, right? So if I go. Right? Right? I have these three notes again. So, what do you do with this, right? What you do is that you put on a backing track with any song, right? It might be major, it might be minor, and then you apply this little trick and you practice it for like 10, 15, 20 minutes, and then make sure you do it a little tomorrow as well, and the day after that, and the day after, just a little bit, just two or three minutes with that as your agenda when you're improvising. And if you keep on doing that just a little every day, then it will be implemented into your playing. It will be a, a place that your brain wants to go to when you're improvising. And you're going to you're going to get to know that that sound, right? It's going to be an integral part of of your vocabulary, so you'll hear it even though even before you play it. 
My name is Klaus Levine. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video.